Hey, you guys. So, um, this video is just basically going to be a little part one video, which I probably should have done actually at the part one stage, but that's fine. Um, I'm basically just changing some little bits around for Maddie in light of her fifth birthday coming up. In terms of her room, I've just moved her bed around so that I can free up a corner to now do a dress up corner because I was looking online at the dress up rails for children. And I was saying to myself, this can't be their price. No, 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 they wouldn't do that. So what I've decided to do is just put up a couple of shelves, really small shelves. Let me show you the corner that I'm working with. So basically I'm going to do the dress up corner in this corner. As you can see, she's gone ahead and done a whole artwork. So today we're not actually doing the shelf. So I'm just going to quickly show you some of the things that I brought. So I brought this set of two shelves from B&M. It was like eight pound. Yeah. So already loving the sound of that price already. So as you can see, one of them's a little bit longer than the other one. So I'm thinking on the longer one, I just put maybe this. This was £1.50 from B&M. And I think I'm going to make it say something like dress up corner or the shelves. I don't know how this is going to work because yeah. it's got wall plugs. So I'm going to need a whole drill. I don't know about this. Um, you know what? Maddie's auntie is like fantastic when it comes to building things. Just going to give her a quick call. See if she don't mind popping over. Uh, help me out with this. Because... So I did buy these off Amazon. These were like £5. And these are super cute. But unfortunately, when I was reading the instructions yesterday, it says um, it's best to use on like smooth flat surfaces, like ceramic tiles and stuff. And it actually recommends not to use on walls. So I don't think I'm going to use them, but they're still really cute and I could still use them for like the bathroom and stuff. So I'm going to keep them. I also bought these off Amazon for £5. Didn't realise it was just going to be the one pack and there was just going to... Three? There was just £5 for three, yeah? It's fine. Um, I'm also probably going to have to repaint these. She's got letters of her name spelling Maddie since she was one. You know when you think, oh, that's fine because it's a D. I can always just turn it around on the other side. So, you know, let's see how it goes. part two of the little maddie's room slash toy corner renovate thingy that we're doing part one is started but not complete um i've painted over the wall over a little artistic creation that she wanted to do and i'm just waiting for that to dry all the way through i did it yesterday i'm gonna wait probably until at least tomorrow so that i know it's absolutely dry and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the shelves and all of that but part two of the little renovate is maddie's little toy corner so she's got like i said her house and then she's got her two um toy boxes now this toy box literally like i said only consists of uh well it looks like there's a bit more on there now but um it's literally just dress up dresses and books oh so i have bought this bug standard um bookshelf 12 pound b and m and hopefully i'm hoping all of her toys fit in here they should do oh my gosh please please look at this <laughs> why do kids do things like this uh, i'm so sorry anyway as you can see she's done another bit of artistry i'm gonna google that anyway as you can see she's done another little bit of art on the wall but I'm not sure whether I want to go ahead and repaint it. I mean, I'm just about to do my hallway. Yes, I'm getting really DIY. Oh, because if I show you my hallway, guys, please. I'm just going to show you this a little bit. Can you even see that? You know what? Forget it. Let's go ahead and let's take it all the way to the actual hallway and show you what this little girl. So, yeah, that's going to be the toy corner. Hopefully... I'm not sure about doing this um, shelf on my own. We'll see. Because um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to. So, you know. But, um, yeah. So, we're going to get to that. Okay. See you. Ciao for now.
so this was all done in a day and this little toy box thingy gave me a lot of stress in the beginning but we got there in the end Does anyone else feel like in the process of tidying up, you end up making more of a mess than you even had to start with? That is definitely how I felt at this point. Just trying to sort out what to put in what box, etc. And then I emptied out the other toy box that had all the books in. Oh, I'm actually so grateful to be done with it all. So right about here I'd just like to point out that the instructions for this here bookshelf said that it had to be put up by two people and as y'all can see I'm just one tiny little person so I'd like to go ahead and give myself a round of applause okay for making this bookshelf on my own even though I made an absolute horrendous mistake but it's hideable and I'm not even about to disclose what that mistake was to be honest but I did really well and I love making stuff anyway so it obviously took a lot longer than it shows in the video but well done me! Negra. Negra. So many books to go through but right here I'm just adding my little finishing touches and having a bit of a tidy up. As you can see, like I said previously, Maddie's auntie had in fact been around earlier that day to help me put up these shelves, which I absolutely couldn't put up on my own, so thank you very much for that. And then I've just used some war books just to hang her little dress up dresses on. absolutely in love with the final result i mean just look at this Negra. super super cute little corner i cannot get over them super cute little fake candle lights they also change color there's maddie's dress up corner and i am super proud of myself well done go me and she loved it of course okay come on then <laughs> 